Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to introduce logical statements. Now, a logical statement is a sentence that carries factual information. And with that, we have two assumptions. The first assumption is that there are only two truth values, uh, which we call true and false. And the section, second assumption, excuse me, no statement can be both true and false at the same time. So a statement is going to have to be true in some, and when we mean by a particular context, it's going to be true in this context or it will be false um, in whatever scenario you're talking about. That's what we mean by particular context. But it can't be both, and it must have one, which is stated up in the first assumption, which is that there's only two truth values, true and false. Now, there are sentences that are not logical statements, and those are sentences that carry no factual information. So uh, before we get into those, let's take a look at some examples of logical statements. So here's our first example. We have Washington, D.C. is a state. Notice that once I've made that statement, you can respond by saying true, yes, it is a state, or false, no, it's not. So it does carry factual information. Second example, presidential elections are held every four years. So again, you can respond by saying true, yes, that's, or no, it's not. Um, in this case, presidential elections are held every four years, so this one is true. Previous one, by the way, is false. Washington, D.C. is not a state. And our third example, the average interest rate on home loans is 5.25%. Again, you can say true, it is, or false, it's not. Either way, it does carry factual information. So let's take a look at some that are not logical statements. All right, so here's an example of not something that's not a logical statement. Are there any... Are there only two truth values for logical statements? So this is an example of a question. Questions do not carry factual information. The answer to the question probably carries factual information, um, but the question itself does not carry factual information. It's kind of it, it'd be kind of silly if someone said, "Are there only two truth values for logical statements?" False. You know, like responding by just saying false. It's that's a little weird. But when you say yes. Logical statements only have two, two truth values. My response carried factual information in that, yes, there are two truth values. So questions are not logical statements. Our next example, don't press the red button. Again, it sounds kind of silly if you say, don't press the red button, and then someone responds as, true. You know, it's a little silly. That doesn't really make sense. Um, so... Don't press the red button is an order. It's a command, uh, or you can. It's an instruction. Okay, don't or do something, uh, but it does not carry any factual information. So commands or instructions are not logical statements. Our third example: superhero movies are boring. Okay, so this this is an opinion. Okay, superhero movies are boring. It's an opinion, and the truth values can change depending on who you're asking and when you're asking them. So how can one blanket statement, superhero movies are boring, contain, or carry one truth value, true or false, when it can change depending on who you're asking at that time? Okay, so opinions are not logical statements. And then there's also sentences that just don't have any meaning. You know, just random words shouted out, or sentences that when you when you say them, you know what what in that sentence um, can be true or false. You know something that could be meaningless or just not carry again any factual information. But these three are the basic ones that you'll see when someone asks you, you know, which of the following are logical statements. The one that the ones that are not, you're going to be looking for the questions, the commands, or the opinions. And lastly, because it's it's something that is worth mentioning again. When someone asks which, which, you know, which of the following, in this case, you know, which of the following are logical statements? You look at these and you're like, okay, Washington, D.C. is a state. Well, that's not true. And you confuse not being true with not being a logical statement. So Washington, D.C. is a state is a logical statement, 
that carries false as its truth value. So again, don't confuse being a logical statement with being false.